Dangote uh, Sugar Refinery is one of the major importers of sugar into Nigeria today. And working with government and in this case, Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment, under their um, sugar master plan, is thinking about a backward integration. Um, that we will be visiting a site like this with 60,000 hectares of land. I think we say that is a very big project. Um, it's incomparable to anyone that may have seen. Um, about two and a half, three years ago, the president and ourselves visited Niger State at Sunti, Sunti, where we saw also another massive project. But I, I'm telling you that this one is about 15 to 20 times bigger than what the president visited, what we visited with the president three years ago at Niger State. So I thank Dangote for that. But again, it's important that we thank um, the governor of the state for um, providing the land. 60,000 hectares of land, I dare say, is a very large expanse of land. But it's also because he has, he's a visionary leader. He's thinking about development of his state. Because by the time this factory or this production, this manufacturing process kicks off, it will create jobs for his people, it will increase the revenue of his state, and it's going to help to improve the economic viability of Nasarawa state, the Mongola state in this country. So I want to thank him for that. Now, what is our interest? Um, our interest as Central Bank of Nigeria is that um, right now, the Central Bank of Nigeria spends close to between 600 to 1 billion dollars, 600 million to 1 billion dollars importing sugar into the country. And that is a humongous sum of money. And in line with the, the, the uh, pronouncement of the Mr. President that there's a need for us to begin to think about producing what we can eat or eat or feed on what we can produce, it's about diversifying the base of the Nigerian economy. And so and we're saying that if Nigeria can produce sugar and be self-sufficient in food production, that this should be something that we should support. And that's the reason we, are, we have decided to come today to give credence to the backward integration program of the federal government, and we are ready to give the support. Land has been provided. You've gone around. You've seen that the, the, this location is well suited for this project, and uh, some of the primary equipment are already here, beginning from the plantation, sugar plantation, into, into the importation of the equipment that is needed for the manufacturing and all, all the processing. So we would provide not only the Naira, or some of the Naira, because I know that Dangote himself, as um, a big man in Nigeria, he has equity that is contributing to the project. We would also leverage by providing some funding for this project in Naira. And of course, he needs dollar to import the equipment that will keep this project running. Hopefully, in the next two years, we'll provide that support. So that is our interest here, because it will reduce, um, it will reduce uh, in reliance on importation uh, on, foreign, on forex. And let me seize upon you to say this, that we are looking at sugar, we are looking at wheat. We started a program on milk about two years ago. Eventually, this product will go into our FX restriction list. You will just want to see to what extent we see um, the traction that is coming on from those who are currently importing these items and we are putting their feet on fire to say that we all must work together to produce these, these goods in Nigeria rather than import them. Uh, it's a project of almost about $500 million and you can convert that into now I know how much it is. I know he's going to commit some equity into it. And from there, we determine what is the shortfall, and we can come in to give support to intervention through the banks, <laughs> through the banks, um, for whatever loan is required for this. Of course, foreign currency will provide as long as it is for the importation of the equipment, because that's where our, our, our big, where, that's where the big issue will be. And we will gradually begin restricting allocation of foreign exchange to those who want to import sugar until we achieve these results. I'm very happy to be here today uh, and uh, we are very, very impressed with the work that has gone on here. Uh, Alaji Dangote and the Dangote Group are doing exactly what the federal government is desirous of seeing and uh, we as the government will continue to give 
every single support to see to the realization of this project. The government instituted this backward integration pro uh, program for uh, the production of sugar. The whole idea is for Nigeria to be self-sufficient in the production of sugar, and not only to be self-sufficient, in line uh, in light of the of our uh, signing on to the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, we would like a situation whereby Nigeria is also the major uh, supplier of sugar to the African continent. So we will give continue to give every support to this project. We are happy with the amount of work that has gone on here. We are most delighted with the comments that have been made by the governor of the Central Bank, that uh, with his promise to give support to this project. And we have no doubt that uh, as time goes along, we will be able to see the realization of this project and uh, our desire to be self-sufficient in sugar. Uh, this is a project that is likely going to produce about one third of the entire sugar consumption in Nigeria. It's a project that is sitting on roughly about 60,000 hectares of land, a project that has been started long ago. So it was an opportunity for the uh, Honorable Minister as well as uh, the Central Bank Governor you know, to come in and have the opportunity to look at the entire project and see the status of where we are. And from what you have seen on your own, you can see that the seed can has been ready. Uh, most of the road network is there. Most of the equipment needed for this project are on site. You know, uh, currently the major challenge is to ensure that we have the factory equipment. Once installed, then most of these areas that you see have been cleared will all have can, and then in 12 months the can will be harvested, uh, fed into the, the factory, and then boom, we have sugar. That's what it is. I think the support is mutual. We are very grateful to Alaji Ali Kwadangote for selecting Nasarawa State for this project because he could say he would be able to select any other state. Selected Nasarawa to, to bring this project and then we are very grateful to the communities for also accepting Dangote to be part and parcel of the project. As you know, anything that has to do with land in so many places usually come with challenge. But from behind you, you will see all the traditional rulers, they have been part and parcel of driving uh, uh, along with the team, you know, to show their total support, as well as the community leaders that are there. And then, of course, the government is there. Now, with central bank government or federal government is there. So I think this project is all around complete when it comes to support. A lot of empowerments have already come. Uh, currently, if you enter into the villages, you will find majority of the youth are actually working inside this farm. Uh, secondly, uh, there are a lot of water projects, uh, school projects, clinic projects that have been done for the people, you know, by, by the Dangote uh, family. So uh, a lot of um, uh, intervention for the state government. We are more interested in the development that has come to our land. It, the revenue will come, but the revenue will come when the project itself begins to generate revenue. So, but right now we are happy that uh, at least, you know, the project has taken off and then uh, I believe with this trip that the central bank governor is coming, you know, all that is required will be provided so that we can just have the factory moving. Good uh, evening, You know, for actually, you know, giving us all the support to make this, uh, you know, project possible. You can see that we've actually cleared quite a lot of land here. We have uh, the seed cane. We have done most of the infrastructure. Uh, what we have here, we have 60,000, uh, you know, hectares of land. You know, with the, uh, you know, with the uh, prospect of growing up to one third of the uh, consumption of Nigeria's sugar, which is almost half a million tons, which will start in phases. Uh, what we have right now will produce over 200, and uh, you know, first investment that we have will have almost about 480 to 500 million dollars. And that's what we are now, you know, doing. And that's why you see everybody here. You know, uh, all the stakeholders are here. The governor of the state is here. The minister is here. The governor of Central Bank that will provide us the support, and he has been providing us the support to make sure that this becomes a reality. And you've seen that we've done quite a lot. We have a very good relationship with the community, with the, uh, all the stakeholders. They've given us good cooperation, and this project as you see it, will have a lot of employment generation. Uh, as a matter of fact, we have to bring a lot of other people from outside this area 
to help in terms of employment. You are talking about thousands of employment direct and the indirect, you know, you're talking about maybe more than 150,000. You know, so uh, it has quite a lot of effects. And you know, in sugar, we are going to do ethanol, we are going to do power production, we'll do animal feed. You know, there are quite a lot that we have to, you know, it's not only making the sugar. We also do power generation and we sell power to the state. It means that if this place is up and running, uh, I don't think, uh, you know, uh, there will be shortage of power in Nasarawa state because we'll be having excess of about 90, uh, you know, uh, megawatts of power. So, you know, it is quite a lot, it is substantial, but we must also thank the government, you know, for their own uh, sugar master plan, you know, because it is a very, very good policy. It's a policy that encourages us to do this kind of backward integration. It's not for us to just make money uh, from the sugar refinery. Sugar refinery now doesn't have any use anymore. So what we need to do now, any money that we make from the sugar refinery, we borrow more money from the uh, banks with the support of the uh, banks and also the governor central bank because it's not only a governor central bank, it's a developmental uh, governor. You know, because he's not only looking at the, uh, you know, monetary policies, he's looking at, okay, what can he do to help support the NERA? The only way to support the NERA is actually by doing projects like this, where you don't need money for imports. And, you know, because he has a problem today meeting of the demand. So by supporting projects like this, going forward, the NERA will, that will be in your hand will be very strong because, you know, you don't now have to worry about, uh, you know, buying your consumables in dollar, you know, uh, terms. So, you know, we have uh, quite a lot that, uh, you know, we're doing here. And you've seen here, I'm sure when you come back next year, you see massive uh, transformation. transformation here. So in 12 months we expect production here? No, 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 so no. Two in two years. Okay. In two years you'll see, you know, because, you know, with sugar, you will do it in phases. Right now, by next year, we'll have 60,000 hectares. By the time we plant, then the factory would have been ready, and then we we'll start feeding the factory, you know, with the sugar. Then it will be easier for us to also double our capacity because we already have the base. Targeting at the end of the day about half a million tons, but right now we're talking about 250,000 tons, and that's a lot. You know, it's a huge, uh, you know, uh, revenue. 250,000 is quite a lot of money. Yeah, talking about turnover of almost 150 or so billion naira. A spectacular thing about this business is that everybody is here. All the stakeholders, you know, they are here. The uh, governor of the state, he is very, 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 uh, I mean, he's like the person who has promoted the project in the first instance. And then the uh, minister, this is his baby because this is the kind of legacy that the government wants to leave. Uh, when they leave office in the next couple of years. And then the governor of Central Bank, he wants to support not only to strengthen the NERA, but to make sure that, yes, uh, you know, jobs are created. You know, because the president promised 10 million uh, jobs.